Uh, can we whack up next uh, Kizzy Wade? I, I think I've heard Kizzy's words before, but possibly not a fire and dust. Hello. No, it is a debut. I'm just going cool. to get myself last speak. Um, there we go. Um, so it's been great to hear all the several poets tonight, including Stephen Lightball. Um, the easiest way to explain what's sort of going on with me, which is important to the poem, is my brain essentially hates me. So that materializes in cerebral palsy, OCD, and numerous sensory disorders. So yeah, this one's an edit of an old piece. It's called Access. When we talk about disability access, we usually talk about things like steps, but we don't talk about the steps needed to integrate disabled people into mainstream society, into normal activities, into conversations, because it's not just bricks and cement that need to be re rebuilt. It's priorities and psyches too. We need to recognize the volume in disabled people. At the moment, we act like reasonable adjustments are charitable. Firstly, they are a legal requirement. Secondly, we need to realize say, if a company makes these adjustments, they get a disabled person's input. That has what value. Diversity breeds creativity. We need to normalize interactions with disabled people. There seems to be a consensus out there that there is a set of rules and regulations for these moments. Do's and don'ts of what you can and can't say. As a disabled person, I can tell you we weren't consulted when these were made. And if you do actually say something wrong, we won't keel over in shock. Most of us can handle it. We need to give the same right to education to people with disabilities. I understand that there are limits to what can be done to a building or curriculum to make it accessible. If the building listed or, or the layout unexpected, but that doesn't mean education should happen on these premises because that puts disabled people at a lifetime disadvantage. Laws need to change. Most importantly, we need to stop believing everyone has access to equality. We need to stop acting like there isn't so work to do, like there isn't so injustices. And as an able-bodied person, you need to carry the message too, because if you're sticking your head in the sand, there are disabled people struggling to cross it. Thank you. I've had a great time.